All right, guys, Team Blind MST here again, and we got the guy who apparently won the OTS tournament, John Solomon, Gravekeepers. Go for it, dude. All right, uh, I've been trying to make Gravekeepers good for forever, and I've been really looking for an opportunity to win a Gravekeeper mat, so through some good Yu-Gi-Oh's and some good friends, I actually finally won a mat, and it was an OTS mat, which makes it even better. And uh, so here's the profile. Three Necro Valley, obviously. What? Uh, Wait. No monsters first? Nah, nah, nah. You need to start with the spells in this deck. Oh, okay. <laughs> These are all I chose to run the ulti Necro Valleys because I was told you couldn't MST them. Uh, some kid tried to MST it, and he ended up discarding a card. Not really, but he believed me for half a second. I don't know. It's 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 great. Keepers, come on. I just want to show off my Necro Valleys. Uh, two Stell, because this card is probably the best card in the deck, uh, besides maybe the next one. Uh, to, when you're in a grind game and you top deck a stell, if you have a spy, a recruiter, a commandant, a descent, if you have anything in the grave, you you just gain more advantage than your opponent knows what to do with, especially if you're going card for card. Uh, some people say it's bad to run it too. I think they're bad Yu-Gi-Oh players. Uh, I don't know. How don't run it at three. Don't run it at one. Run it at two. Those players don't uh, have an OTS mat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Royal Tribute because... This card broke the game. How do, how do you uh, feel about this card, John? Uh, all right. I I have a love hate relationship with this card. In dragon format, I should have gotten my invite. Tell to, us about that match. match. Tell us about but, that uh, match. I opened the nuts. I opened the absolute nuts. I set spy. I activated Necro Valley. I set a bunch of back row. One of them was a warning. So I have no cards in my hand except tribute. And I tribute the guy. And I still don't know what he's playing because I opened first. I finally the only dice roll I win all fucking day, and uh, he smiles. And I thought he was going to just scoop to me. And then I saw him proceed to pitch two Graffas and two Brows. And I about flipped the table because I hate Dark Worlds more than anything. Literally more. I, I hate Dark Worlds more than I hate Famine. Like, <laughs> I hate Dark Worlds. So when I saw that, it scarred me for life. So I took this card out. And then I started main decking Deck Dev. And then through a lot of deck changes, I ended up bringing Deck Dev down to one. And I was like, this is stupid. I should put Tribute back in. Moral of the story, don't take tribute out, no matter how hard you get sacked by Dark Worlds. Or if it's a dead draw. It's a win condition still. Yeah, so. it, it is kind of a dead draw sometimes, but... I like that pyramid you just made. The, co the cost outweighs the... It's a nice pyramid. Or the benefits outweighs the cost. Uh, three MSTs, because this is a really back row heavy format. Um, if I'm playing a deck that I know runs Phoenix Chain, which is one of my favorite, favorite cards, as you guys will see... Um, I'll just sit on it, uh, or if I'm playing anything with field spells, I always set them. I never blind MST against field spells. Keep like, that Necrovalli alive. Yeah, you gotta keep that Necrovalli. It's the most important thing, because they're counting on that. They, they'll they MST your back row first, and then activate their field spell a lot of times, because they're confident that they're getting over it, and then you just, you, you MST. It's just really good, and you can bait out MSTs a lot, and then use them back. Two pot of duality because this card, do this deck does special summon sometimes. Uh, at three, I draw too many of it. At one, I never see it. I feel it's another card that just needs to be the magic number for this card is two. And then the two one ofs, dark hole and book of moon. I think book of moon is one of the best spell cards in the game. My friends make fun of me. They all end up running it. They all put it back in their decks, and it always wins them games. So run this card at however many you're allowed to run this card. Broke a format. Uh, that's what's that's it for the spells. All right, now I'll go back to the monsters. Uh, three Commandants, because you got to get to those Necro Valleys. Three Spies, obviously, uh, because this card is just... I don't, know. I don't play it in my build. It's what, it's what makes the deck good. Yeah, <laughs> Brian, Brian's manly Gravekeepers don't have any room for Spies, but it's fine. Uh, three Recruiter, because this card can search pretty much everything you need. It searches... The only thing it can't search is a Spy, and if it could, I wouldn't even consider this deck fair. So... Two Descendant, because three can be cloggy. Um, I used to run him at three. It, it wasn't really cloggy. At worst case scenario, he's a 2,000 beat stick. And a lot of times, I'll pop a recruiter with him, and they'll fiendish chain him or do something to get his effect. And I don't care, because all I really wanted was the recruiter search anyways. You ever and, thought about bringing him to one? Uh, I thought about bringing him to one. Um, Too inconsistent. I thought about bringing him one, but that's just it. You want you want him. If he gets bottomless and you only have him at one, you're kind of really sad because you have no way to get things back to the bot bottomless trap. Bottomless trap hole and dimensional prison are this deck's like that's what kills me the most in people's back row. So I just you feel you need him at two. Um, I, don't run, really. I run one assailant because she's a powerhouse. Um, you can attack into a lot of things without being scared. Uh, you attack into Yamato, you switch into defense, they can't drop Crane. You attack into 
It doesn't target. Wait, she doesn't target? No, uh, it does. Her effect targets, but. You're going to make him waste the turtle. If, if he wants to race the turtle and a crane to kill her because she'll be at 2,000 with the Necro Valley up, I feel like I won that battle, so that's okay. Gross. Uh, Coming from the Bojan player, that would be awfully irritating. Yeah, yeah. And plus, if Necro Valley's up, I can't even banish the turtle. Exactly. <laughs> uh, one hair. All right. Damn. One heretic. This card is absolutely disgusting. This is probably the best card that we got in the new support, and I feel like he's extremely underrated. He's, you can search him with Recruiter. Once he hits board, if they don't solemn warning him, or fucking Lagia him, or Glad Beast War Chariot, whatever your flavor of the week is, he is him. untouchable. Can't you can't Lagia him. Yeah, you, you absolutely can. Oh, oh, oh. I you have to negate effects. his summon. Once he's on field and Necro Valley's up, he can't be touched by effects. I think people go. look at him and they say, like, oh, he doesn't get the thing from Necro Valley, because people always assume that he gets a bonus from Necro Valley. He doesn't. He stays at 18. But I'm fine with that because I feel it would be unfair if he went up to 23. Like, I'd feel bad running him. It'd be, it'd be I would an run, <laughs> but better. And I, everyone would run him at three. And these what? two malefic cyber ends. This card is disgusting. It is a 4,000 beat stick. It is a free special summon. Necro Valley is almost always live if you're doing your job. And a lot of times when Necrovelli dies, it was killed by another field spell, so this isn't going to die anyways. Yes, it's gross when someone MSTs your Necrovelli when you attack and you just lost field control and you lost a 4,000 beat stick. But so many times, I will just drop this from the hand to bait out a Torrential or Bottom a Bottomless or something. And it it just it puts in work. And 4,000... 4,000 attack is no joke. That's half your life points. There's been so many games where I just sit there and I just grind through back row and they'll be sitting at 4,000 life points thinking it's fine because a lot of my monsters have 2,000 attack and then I'll just drop Cyber End for game and they just kind of look at it like, well, I, I guess that's a thing. Unless you got oh. the Malefic and that Heretic combo. Yeah, that's, that's another gross thing because Heretic is unaffected by all kinds. He pushes through Cy Malefic, Cyber, and Dragon. They can both attack if they're both on that field. That normally doesn't happen too much, but... Tell you to get the fuck out of the way. Yeah, he, he, he doesn't care. He gives no fucks. No fucks were given that day. Uh, Alright, so on to the traps. Um, I really like trap cards. This is actually a very few amount of trap cards for my, my taste, but there's no room in this deck, so... Uh, three tombs. Yes... Absolutely, three tombs can be cloggy. Yes, it can be a dead draw. Yes, I should probably run it at two, but I don't because it puts in work. And opening two tombs, a heretic and a necro of alley is just disgusting. And I just, just run it at three. Three chains because two chains ain't strong enough. Uh, chains. I don't know. It's just, it's such a good card. Like if you don't play Valor, I don't play, play Valor. I don't like hand traps. I don't like the principle behind hand traps. So I run Phoenix Chain. It stops attacks. It stops monster effects. I, breakthrough skill is another good option, but breakthrough skill, in my opinion, is an offensive card. You want to use it when you're making, you're going to make plays. It doesn't stop attacks, and I like if somebody's attacking with something really beefy. I don't want them to kill spy because I can use her to go into a, a big rank four play. So I would rather use Phoenix Chain, stop the attack, stop the effect if I have to. I have options. It's, it, I have more options with this card. I like very versatile cards because it allows me to make good plays and win based on my play and not just based on what cards I happen to draw. Very so I like Versatile. So I love Phoenix Chain. Plus very it's a monster, very good card. It's a monster every format. format. Yeah, so. monster effects are everything this format. So Two Mirror Forces, because I think they're better than Deep Prison. Uh, this deck loses to OTKs. Um, Trap Stun's still a thing, but if they drew the OTK and the Trap Stun, they are probably going to beat me no matter what I had set. Um, I just think Mirror Forces is better than Deep Prison this format. And then the four Staples, I don't think I really need to go into too much explanation on why I run these. Uh, it is good. To the one house. Yep. The one for a reason. Uh, onto the extra deck. I run one cowboy because a lot of times it just happens to work out with how the uh, attack of my monsters is that they have 800 life points left. So, I don't know. Cowboy's cowboy. Uh, one Steel Swarm Roach. People make fun of me for running this. I think it's a very good card. Um, I was playing I was playing against Giga Curry Curries and I what? flipped Spy. Damn. I flipped Spy. And I chain, I summoned a descendant. And I chained Torrential to it. and He had a Stardust on field, and he tributed Stardust. So then I normal summon Recruiter, popped his Gear Gear Axe, and then went into Roach after like main phase two, so that he could, so I could stop the Stardust from coming back. And he just he, he couldn't come back from it. Uh, I think Roach is a very underestimated card. Uh, that's just my personal beliefs. Uh, one Crazy Box because Skill Drain is a thing, and Crazy Box is just a three thousand beat stick with Skill Drain. Also sometimes. You're just not gonna, it doesn't look like you're gonna win the game. 
and you can just sit on it if you want to, or if you're a man, you can roll for it. I've never lost a game where I've rolled for Crazy Box's effect, and I've been in some pretty dire circumstances, so Crazy Box. Uh, Abyss Dweller, because I hate, 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 hate Dark Worlds. Uh, it's also good against Mermails, which happen to be a thing. And Fire Kings, I guess people are running, and it, stop, it stops them too. Ah, I wouldn't, wouldn't really use it against Bougins, it's not that important. Black ship because it gets over a lot of things that other people can't, that other cards can't get over. Uh, in time, it's a very good card. I think it's one of the best cards in the new extra deck at least to go into in time because it burns them and pulls something off the board. Uh, Zen mains, which I almost never go into, but occasionally you have two recruiters on board. Uh, Zen Meister, um, people always ask me why I run this card. Almost never use it. This this deck has a fair amount of room in the extra deck, but. There's been times where you just use him to reset Spy, just put more monsters on board. Uh, it's really just for resetting Spy. A Master Key Beetle, because um, you, you can just Master Key Beetle Necro Valley. You can Master Key Beetle uh, another card that I have in my... Do you have a specific lock? Side deck, yes. I will show the lock once I get to my side deck. Oh, I know. You, you side deck that now? Yep. Oh. One Ouroboros. People yell at me for running this, but this card is absolutely disgusting. I've had people put out a Draco Sack, Stardust. I drop Ouroboros. I banish Draco Sack. I attack or bounce straight. What is it? Banish or... Get rid of it. Nerf Draco Sack, attack over Stardust. They cry because they didn't think that Gravekeepers could get over that. <laughs> Shark Knight. As I like to call him Pac-Man because he eats anything that you can't get over by other means. Um, I, if I had two of them, I would run two of them. I don't have two of them. Uh, I actually pulled this at the sneak peek, so that was kind of cool. Uh, Maystroke and Pappy, because they're just staple, uh, rank fours. And they're alties. That's just good. And they're alties, so they put, they put in work. And then, an Exiton Knight, because if I'm, if, if I'm grinding with somebody, and they find a way to get rid of Necro Valley. For whatever reason, I run on Necro Valley because sometimes people do manage to push through all the Necro Valleys or against stuff like Harpies and Brofist. If you just put an Axiton Knight on board, they usually have a pretty hard time getting over it. And who doesn't like a full rank for JD? Which is my belief. And then two Cyber End Dragons because I run two Malefic End Dragons. Or, uh, Malefic Cyber End Dragons. And you won't believe how many times people just look at him, compulse him, and then I just special summon him right back and say, okay, thank you for burning that compulse. Before you put that away, how much... You, we've talked about this. Your deck's fairly expensive because you've got it mostly hollowed out. Uh, the whole deck is max rarity except for the spies. Are, I mean, they're technically highest rarity. They're, they're got, secrets. The I don't like spies. super spies. I have the other super... I had the super spies. I don't like them, so I don't run them. And then I need two secret pots. Everything else is max rarity in the deck is unfortunately probably worth about a grand. The extra deck, side deck. Those those fiendish chains put in work. The... Those are mine. The, the warning. They just they just do. All right. But on to the, uh, the side deck. I run two deck devs because, like I said, I main them for a while. This is the best card in the world against the mirror. Um, it puts in work again. I put in work against wind-ups today. I watched the kid discard four cards. He cried a little bit. Um, it nerfs harpies. The only thing that really lives is queen because people don't run cyber harpy lady. Or at least they tell me I'm stupid for running it in my harpies. But I've seen a few run it. They all, most of their cards get nerfed on that. Two rivalry because Medolce's... Drugs. Wind ups. I mean, like evil, uh, uh, evil swarms. Constellers even sometimes. Just it's just a good card. Three light imprisoning mirrors because Ooh, you bastard. I hate Constellers. I don't hate Constellers. I love Constellers. I think Constellers is a really good skill based deck. For some reason, I lose to Constellers. I at the last regional, two two of my three losses were to Constellers. So I just three light imprisoning mirrors. Um. Defissure, Macro, Soul Drain, uh, they're all basically the same card. They stop the same things. Um, right on. Two Overworks. People ask me why I said Overworks. I run Gravekeepers. Because against a lot of decks, um, Necro Valley dies sometimes. Harpies it kills. Fire Fists it kills. Cyber Dragons it kills. Um, and... I mean, it's the same principle as, like, why would you run, like, a Tarantula or Needle Ceiling? Like, obviously, if I'm going to activate this, I'm clearing... My opponent has more than I can deal with, so I just need a board wipe. I feel like Overworld is one of those cards where you, when you play it in something that's going to hurt you, too, you use it when it's going to right. stop it your It becomes skill play. Based. Yeah. Two Fossil Dina, because this card is gross. I have a friend that plays Gear Gear Curry Curries, and... Uh, I started in against him once, and he was certain he was going to go for the OTK, traps on everything, attacks into Fossil Dina the most depressed I've ever seen a grown man in my entire life. 
uh, to the point where when he duels people at tournaments, he'll stop, he'll look at a face down card, and he'll be like, that's a fucking Fossil Dino, you motherfucker. And then they'll look at him like, how the hell would you know that nobody runs this card? And he's like, my buddy's good at Yu-Gi-Oh. Happened once, but... And yeah. one of my... I, I had her in the main deck. This I feel like this is the best card. Like, Heretic is the best practical card, but this card is absolutely disgusting. Right before, a while ago, my buddy asked me, if you could get anything in an extra deck form for Gravekeepers, what would you add? And then they gave me her, and it, she does everything and so much more. When she is on the field, you cannot activate field spells. You cannot destroy Necro Valley. And on top of that, you cannot activate effects in your graveyard. Like, she she makes up for the other half of the third of the game that Necro Valley just shut nerfs on. And uh, you just go into her against a lot of things, and it's almost an instant scoop. Uh, she's a spy target. Um, nasty. It's nasty. It's absolutely disgusting. Actually, if I open... What do you usually side out for her? Normally, I side out a Malefic Cyber End. Yeah, that's what I was the Cyber Ends. I mained her, but it was just such a dead draw sometimes. Uh, I main, I put, took her and one, no I ran her and one Nobleman at the last regional and then decided to take them out last minute for the Malefic Cyber Ends. Uh, Nobleman, I feel, is a bad card. I feel a lot of people are running it, but I think it's bad because this is a slow deck, and that slows it down even more. And because people are scared of attacking in the spies, and they don't really want to attack any recruiters, they never attack face down monsters, ever. The best play that you have with a nobleman is summoning her off as spy when they go to OTK you, so it forces them to either stop or it lets you, like, put another spy down and just, just stall for longer. I think nobleman's not worth running, but she is definitely worth studying. You put her in against, like, stuff like harpies. Obviously, mermails, dark worlds, fire kings, they instantly, well, not instantly. Mermails have a chance against her. The other two do not. Um, Explain the lock real quick, because I saw you go into it. The lock earlier. is, if I have a spy on board, and if I have a, any of the level 4s in my hand, I flip spy, special summon her from the deck, normal summon any of the level 4s, um, she's protecting Necro Valley, overlay into uh, Master Key Beetle, Master Key Beetle protects her, and then... I mean, if you if you run two man, I don't run two master key beetles anymore. I used to, and I've had it before. Where I've had them protecting each other and her. But a lot of people have absolutely no response to this. She gains two hundred attack and defense for all of my gravekeeper monsters in the graveyard. So she 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 develops quite an ass during the grind game. And like I said, a lot of decks just can't recover from that. Um, it kills and nerfs battle searchers. It nerfs a lot of things. It it, it it stops everything that you that you need to stop that you normally can't. And, uh, yeah, uh, that's it. I'm um, glad that I finally fucking managed to win myself a Gravekeeper mat with Gravekeepers, so... Explain your matchups that led you onto the path of victory for that OTS man. Alright, round one, I got fucked. I played against Cyber Dragons, I quit 2 0 them. Midway through game two, I'm about to just stomp him. I'm, I'm, I'm literally about to win. I have a compulse, I'm about to push for game, and the judge comes up to us and he's like, uh, deck check. And he deck checks my opponent, and my opponent had 16 cards in his side deck. So they sat there for 15 minutes trying to figure out why there were 16 cards, like what he sided in and out. Game State's like, it's fucked up, but it's not really fucked up to the point where we can't play anymore. And they finally figured out, and then the judge gives him like a warning or whatever. Like, he just writes him a warning. And I was, I was really like about to win. And uh, I mi I, because I forgot what I was doing, I, I misplayed a compulse, whatever, we're grinding, we're grinding. So then a little bit through, he activates Overworked. And uh, I attack into a, not overworked, I attack into a Genex Ally Birdman, and he... Limited removal. Limited removal, that, yeah, that's it. So my, my shit dies, it was a heretic, I was kind of bummed. And then, in the, but then I'm thinking, he has no cards in his hand, he has a Birdman. There's absolutely nothing that this kid can do to beat me, because that's going to die in the end phase. End phase comes around, he forbidden lances it. Uh, I'm like, alright, that's cool, but it still dies, because limited removal sets up a game condition... So, even though he's unaffected by spells and traps, he's destined to die in the infants. Like, that's the official ruling. And I knew this was the official ruling. And the kids arguing with me on it. Like, two or three other people are like, no, that's how it works. That's how it works. And he's like, call a judge. And I'm, like, looking around. I don't see the judge. And I'm like, we just wasted, like, 15 minutes. And I thought, I really did thought I had the game. I had a light imprisoning mirror up. So, I was like, you know what? That's whatever. And, uh, he ends up beating me. Game two... I open absolutely nothing. I think he drops like a close for us. So I lose that round. That was my only loss of the day. And I was real pissed. And then later in the day, that kid comes up to me. He's like, actually, I shouldn't even have won that game too. Because I guess Cyber Network, how it works is when I MST to Cyber Network. And he like special summoned off of it. And he's supposed to destroy his back row, but he didn't. And he would have 
he wouldn't have lasted that long in the game anyways because his back row was slowing him down. He wouldn't have had the limited removal to even use, so he would have lost a long time ago. So basically, I got screwed. I was his only win of the day. Uh, we ended up talking after it. We're cool now. Like he, he didn't intentionally screw me, but he kind of did. I, I don't, I don't feel that he should have taken the win after he had known that he had cheated me. But that's whatever. Game two. Life lesson, guys. Don't run structure decks. Yeah, don't run structure deck decks. Also, always call a fuck. Don't be a nice guy. If you know you're right, or if you even think you're right, I don't care if you're super wrong. I don't care if the thing you said sounds like the stupidest thing in the world. If you feel that you're being cheated, just call a judge. Don't, don't be stupid like me. Just call a fucking judge. Um, let's see. What did I play game two? Game two. Some bullshit. Cause you were. Game, game two. Game two was bullshit. No, no. Oh yeah, game two was harpies. Game oh. two was harpies. Um, I two owed him. Oh, the guy beat. <laughs> he couldn't get over. He couldn't get over the shaman. Actually, that's that's what won the game. <laughs> the shaman was too strong. And then game three was wind ups. I two owed him too. Um, I think I tributed him first game, and he was real pissed about it. And uh, I played the kid at regional at the last regionals, and he was running coons, and I didn't know. I asked him. I was like, "Yo, you running the same deck?" And he's like, "He didn't remember playing me." He's like, "Yeah, yeah." And he's like. We play regionals, right? I was like, yeah. And he, he said he remembered what I was playing, but then when I tributed him, he, he acted surprised, so I don't know. And then I 2 0 him, and then who did I play after that? I think I played Zombies. I played Zombies. Yeah. Again, Shaman was too strong. He couldn't get over couldn't get over Necrobelly, especially couldn't get over Zombies. So then um, I ended up going into the top 8 X1, and my I'm the kid that my two buddies ended up scooping to. We all made top 4. Like... Three of us made top four, so it really didn't matter. We were we kind of three way tied for first, I guess. But you got a bot. You got your guy didn't show up for the first round though, so you automatically got your invite to Nats, and then we both scooped you so you could. I, I did some Nats. work. I did some work to get there. What did? So how's it feel having your invite? Oh, it's pretty cool having my invite finally. It's it's really cool having my invite with Gravekeepers. It's even cooler winning a Gravekeeper mat with Gravekeepers finally. I don't know. I just. It's been a long road, but we finally made it, guys. We started from, we literally started the tournament from the bottom, and now we're all the way here. Yeah. Well, there you go. Team Blind MST, signing out.